rumors of dragons. Belgriff, like, literally, it's not a rumor. Like, did you not listen to anything I said? Like, there was a dragon. It was a, li a literal dragon. A dragon. So here we arrive at another turning point in the Skyrim series. I have a problem. I have a modding Skyrim problem. So we have a new mod list. Uh, this time it includes Legacy of Dragonborn, which I'm super excited about. Um, so we played a little bit of this on the live stream the other day. Uh, we're going to continue this playthrough on the live stream right now. And we're going to turn this into a YouTube series. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. We'll continue where we left off. Um, we did join the Thieves Guild for the armor. And now I think we're just going to make a dent in the main story, get the dragons active, and start going there. And then I'll kind of go over the mods as we go through the game. Um, I will have a mod list linked in the description. Maybe by the time this video gets uploaded. I don't know. It depends. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. We'll continue where we left off with it even gets even get stuck behind a door and damaged by a pot what's your name orgnar your pot i want to report your pot much else to tell that's cool but your pot assaulted me anyway we are in white run so no we're in riverwood what am i doing right so we need to go to bleak falls barrow we need to get the dragon tablet um, we need to, yeah, go get the dragon tablet. So that's what I think we're going to do. So, hey, look, it's my pigeon buddy. Hey, buddy. Um, yeah, so let's get our horse. This horse was stolen because thief life and alchemy overhaul kind of screws with it so that will be added in the future let's go ahead and see if we can get this guy oh yeah right in the neck look at that let's see oh, go check your buddy he's dead what hello thank you they're dead so we are playing a wood elf or Bosmer, wood folk, whatever you want to call them. We are playing that. Uh, we are going stealth assassin, archer, like everybody else. But it's literally my favorite play style in the game. Uh, we are going to be doing a lot more with one-handed. So we'll just make sure to keep that in mind. We will be up and close as well if we need to be. I think there's someone else here. So it's been a very, very long time since I played through this game. It's been probably five or six, no, probably longer than that, like 10 years since I actually played this game. The only full playthrough I had was back when it came out back on Xbox before I was playing on PC. Funny story, this is why I, I built the PC anyway, so I could play modded Skyrim. That's like the only reason. That and do this. Record some videos. Stream. Card of Builders. Found a fake card. These cards are grouped into decks of 13 cards of the same type. When you possess at least one of each card in the of the type, you can use any of the cards from the set in your inventory. One of each card of that set will can combine to form a deck which will provide special powers. Interesting. So we got a card of fate. I'm not sure which mod that's from. But I've never seen them before. Card of Builders. Oh. I think that might be Legacy of the Dragonborn. Not really sure. I don't know. One of the one of the focus points I have with this mods pack is making sure to keep Skyrim cold. You know, there's too many there's too many mod pet mod packs, like mod lists. Where they make it over fantasized i just don't really like that like i want it to still feel cold i want it to reminisce of what actually what skyrim actually is oh 
Oh no, I'm detected. He didn't see me though. Got him. Got Apex controls on my brain. Gotcha. It's easier to run when I'm dead, sir? No, when you're dead, sir. Alright, let's see. It's a cardinal. Look at that. What do you know? Alright, in the bleak falls. Oh yes, I do want to want to show this right here. Um, we are using Glorious Doors of Skyrim. This is probably one of the most underrated mods of all time. Look at that. Animated doors, man. Alright. So. We all know what to expect in Bleak Falls Barrow. I'm actually interested to see... I'm, like, really overweight, I think. So, let's actually drop some of this stuff. I was going to sell all this stuff, but... It's too much. Oh, let's... Alright. Alright. I mean, they're technically going to bleed out before they even get to me, but, yeah. So we are using the archery gameplay overhaul, which adds bleed damage. Okay, um, which adds bleed damage to weapons or arrows. So if you hit so hit somebody and they have less than ten percent health left, like they're probably gonna bleed out and die, which is good. It's realistic. It's immersive as fuck. So I'm actually really debating if I want to to put up a modding guide for Skyrim on YouTube. Like, what do you guys think, chat? Do you think you, would you guys like that if I put a guide up on how to mod Skyrim? We could even do like different styles. Like we do a fantasy over fantasy overhaul. We can do a horror overhaul. I am really excited for the uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn, though, for sure. I haven't used, I haven't played it yet. Um, I know it has to do with filling up a giant museum full of artifacts, so that's going to be kind of cool. Oh, um, another thing to note as well: we are using uh, Dawnguard delayed and Dragonborn delayed, so we will not have to worry about any of the DLC until level twenty. And I believe the Dawnguard stuff isn't going to start until we beat the main quest line. So um, I have it set up that way on purpose because it's not very immersive to just have the Dragonborn occultist start, start attacking you for no reason. So I kind of don't. I was kind of going to avoid. So we got Snake, Snake, Whale. Okay. Um, I was going to avoid the main quest altogether and just do just do kind of like a whatever playthrough. But I forgot how much content you actually can't even start until you have a foothold in the main quest. So go ahead. Anything in the chest? Lockpick. Hold is good. We need that elixir. Thief book. We want that. Add that to the house. We gotta decide what house we want. I really decided. There's a lot of good player homes in the Nexus, but well, I mean, yeah, we might as well make sure we get a a modded player home too, since we are playing modded Skyrim. Makes sense. There was one that I came across a while ago. Please, come on, come on. All right. Uh, there was one I came across a while ago, which had like a. Dark Brotherhood kind of feel to it. I don't remember what it was called. I could probably find it again if I looked for it. Actually, we're going to do this right here. I'm going to... Oh, that's not what we want to do. One and two. All right, cool. What's that? Scroll, linen wrap. We don't need that for anything. That was kind of creepy. Got some Draugr. I wonder if there's a mod that will let you light stuff. 
Yep, totally is. Totally is Hawknear. Totally not a Wood Elf here to kill you. Ah, oh, homeboy, you are killing me right now. Really need that ranger perk. All right. And we got it. Don't worry, dude. Got it. Uh, uh, uh. Holy shit. This is new. I don't remember these corpses being here. I remember the skeevers being here, but I do not remember the corpses. Hey, who are you? You did it. You killed it. Yeah. Cut me down before anything else shows up. I don't know about that. Where's the golden claw? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of storage. I know how they all fit together. Do you? Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have. Fine. Ah, uh, can you? Okay, just because I know you're gonna run away, just fuck right off. Oh yeah, dude, that looks sick. All right, we are using the John John Skyrim Gold uh, Dragon Claw mod, so they retextured all the Dragon Claws. That actually looks really, really good. Holy shit, we got uh, bear, moth, owl. Okay. First, we have to get through the Draugr. <laughs> Spooky noises. There's one. That wasn't enough to kill it. It's going to bleed out, though kill it anyway just so it doesn't attract attention okay so that one's dead we got one more or did he himself he he trapped himself interesting all right so these yeah we'll pick those up they don't weigh too much that's so funny he hit the trap all right, so we uh we do need to make sure we are looting some stuff um, we're not going to walk into that because we do need some money income right now. We are fresh, so. There is one. That one's level six. Oh, yeah. Where's the other one? Ah, oh, yeah. Run him through. Yeah, let's go. I don't know what I just picked up. What was it? Ancient Nord Bow. It's not better. We'll keep one so we can sell it. Rave Tar. I don't know what that is. Ouch. Right, we'll just stop that now. Um, we are using the alchemy and cooking overhaul. So a lot of these ingredients you guys may not be familiar with. Um, so if I have encountered them before, I will do my best uh, to make sure they're explained. This guy's alive. Let's shoot him in the knee, right? Look at all that damage. Another knee. I used to be an adventurer like you. And then I took an arrow to both of my knees. That's unfortunate. There is another one. There you are. Hey, you're on fire. Sucks to suck. <laughs> Biff. Grave tar. Let's actually see what that does. My guess is it probably kills me. Uh oh, 
Let's see. Brave Tar. Fear. I'm too powerful for Grave Tar. Okay. So, let's see. So, the whole goal I think what we should accomplish here is do what we can in the main quest line. We are using um not so fast on the main the main quest. Um so what that does is it gives you like layover time like in game time before you can do certain quests like when you give the graves the dragon stone to the guy you don't immediately get attacked by a dragon like he has to have time to decipher it that was one thing i didn't really like about vanilla skyrim when i played it was that one thing and they just seemed like they rushed all of the all of the gameplay it's not like oblivion where you, you had to like progress and stuff right like in the actual game be able to do certain things another card a card of demons okay so this says we need a card of eat from each set so i guess we'll see if we can find a card from each set i am almost out of arrows this is going to be very unfortunate i keep any on me all right we got iron we'll switch to iron for now Make sure we can get some more arrows when we go back to Whiterun. Yep, there is, I believe, no landscape mods. This noble Skyrim. That's all we're using. So this actually looks really good. I am debating if I should switch to CC's HQ Mines and Caves. It just seems like it might it might work a little bit better since we have everything else that's like super high resolution. But we'll see. Whoops. See, this is it's tending like mod lists are never perfect, right? Like you always gotta you're always gonna find something that needs to be changed. Like it doesn't matter. Like this right here, like this is supposed to be ice, and I don't I'm not really convinced. So we're gonna. Uh, check that we are using just ice and fluffy snow so i think i already mentioned fluffy snow but just ice is another thing we're using too mm -hmm. it's a lot of mist oh we can't go that way uh all right right this is a time waster okay back up um, this way. We might mess around with alchemy a bit. I haven't fully decided if we're going to actually do it or not. Maybe, since we have the overhaul. I just got the overhaul for the cooking. Um, it's unfortunate that it doesn't work with, uh, with the needs mod. It's probably a patch. I got to look for it. So spooky. I love the lighting. I love enhanced lights and effects. It's so good. The enhancer version makes everything seem a little bit darker. All right. Keep moving, 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 moving. Ah, oh, shit. I went backwards. All right. Oh, I run all the way back. Can I make that jump, chat? Alright. So we gotta go this way. I think it's this way. We just come from this way. Yeah, we did. So we gotta go this way. Mm 
<laughs> Getting lost. There's a homeboy in here. He cannot hear us. Oh, these iron arrows suck. And you're gonna bleed out. Sucks to suck. Anything good? Nope. More grave tar. Sure. Make some fear poison. Why not? Alright. Uh, it's an apprentice chest. So this is Bleak Falls Sanctum, so this should bring us to the Door of Stories, and then we should be clear sailing to the to the Dragon Wall and the Tablet. Do we have any room for it? Yeah, we do. A Dragon Tablet weighs 15 pounds. Can you believe that? Let's see. Got kind of red in here, didn't it? Red rum. That one. Next one. Oh no. Hey, come here. Yeah, right there. Okay, you need to stop. Yes, run through the fire. Be a dummy. Oh, I love droggers. I love it. All they want to be is a real boy. And they can't be. Whatever red tinge. Uh, this must be from the, the stuff, yeah. Let's say whatever red tinge this is, it's really, really creepy. It's also dark as shit in here. I do not have a torch, which makes me feel super sad, but. Alright, keep moving. Iron door, there it is. I'm not really sure what the story on this is supposed to be. I know it has something to do with the Dragonborn. Uh, could also be Talos. Alright, so it was, it was uh, Bear, Moth, Owl, right? Okay, so one more, and then we should be good. Yep, cool. <sighs> Down you go. All right, now now we're into the area with the dragon wall, so now we should be we should be good. So some bats, cause why not? Again, Noble Skyrim coming in huge. This whole area looks amazing. This guy doesn't come out, right? Until we click the, we go collect that. Another card, nice. Boots of the Bold. Yeah, we'll take those. Fortified Potion of Heavy Armor. I do really like the it's overhaul here. Feels really good. If I remember right, this should give us Foos. First part. Go. Level 15. Real. He foos Rodatus. Oh no. Alright, we need to potion. 
I'm going to use this. And we're going to use this. It doesn't work on him. We're too fast for you, boy. Yikes. Oh no, we're stuck. We're stuck, chat. Alright, so yeah, when you get disarmed, it removes it from your from your favorites too, so just keep that in mind. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Alright, we need another potion. Yikes. Another potion. We're gonna he's gonna get us. Uh. Moral loot's no joke. Am I bleeding right now? Because oh, that feels super bad if I was. Got him. One more. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Anything good? Black ice. Interesting. Unresistible. 25 pounds. Oh, it doesn't weigh anything. Cool. Mods for the win. All right. Where is my, my bow here? It was one point of damage. It's not really that big of a deal. Okay. Well, I guess we should just head on uh, head on back to Riverwood, give Homeboy his claw. Then we'll head to Whiterun and talk to the wizard about the Dragonstone and see what, what we he needs done to decipher the bad boy. Okay. the fuck dude that was so creepy that was so creepy I had no idea what that was I was about to freak the fuck out and this right here folks is modded Skyrim in a nutshell all right look at this so serene we're actually going to take a screenshot oh no oh there's goblins fuck yeah dude the hail's monsters coming through Oh, these guys are actually kind of tough. Holy shit. Block spam? Come on. Yikes. Um, actually, hold on. We need to... Feels really weird. We're gonna get bested by fucking goblins, man. Potion. Alright, there's one down. We're still getting shot by the archer. Where is he? We need to get our bow back out. Where is he? He 
He's so short. There he is. Archer battle. This is archer battles in Skyrim. I'm actually gonna die. I need to take another potion. Yeah, we're just like chugging through potions. Yeah, Mill Hell's preacher packs. Holy shit. Tough enemies. Oh, but they had so much stuff. I can see Riverwood. That's that's a good that's good. Oh yes, good old Riverwood. It's always a good time when you show up here. And it looks so good. Alright. So let's go talk to Oh it's a kitty! Hi, kitty. You're so fat. I love it. Really hope that I can get one of those for my own house. Hi. Don't you worry, Lucan. I got great news for you. I have your claw. No problem, man. Give me that XP. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. With your golden claw. Actually, yeah. Let me see. What you got? So we're actually gonna we're gonna keep both of those, I think. That will get rid of that you can buy. That you can buy. All of these you can buy because I will never use them. Uh, what else? This. That one actually has a soul in it. I did not want you to buy the iron. I need that back. Thank you. And what else? Buy this roll of paper. We don't need rolls of paper for anything, do we, chat? No, definitely not. Alright. There he goes. There goes Dragon Boy. <coughs> Alright. Should be a journal here. Ah! Fucking kill it! If I were a charred, burnt corpse, where would I be? Literally right there. Okay. It turns to ash as you touch it, but you have a journal. Read the journal. I'm actually gonna level. Quick. So, take some more health. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start getting some points into archery. Right, so let's go ahead and read that journal. First entry. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of, of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon, and everyone will be returning home. I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered. Second entry. I received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seem quiet for now, probably for the first time since the High King Torrig was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quite en quietly enough during the night, so as long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. 
Third entry. So much for being discreet. I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen and made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I cannot get back to my camp now because the area has filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for someone. Someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim, but crossing the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be very a very bad plan. Fourth entry. I woke up early this morning with an imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping on the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. Guess not. I have no idea where they're taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety looking old nag. At least they let me keep my journal. For now. Fifth entry. Shores Bones. If only I had known sooner. The ambush, the captives in the cart with me. Stormcloak Rebels. Led by none other than Stormcloak himself. Hello. Murph, how are you? There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If it hadn't been for the dragon, I'd, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon. Big, black, giggity. And as large as the Towers of the Keep itself. It swooped in and out of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tullius didn't take my head today. Or the heads of seven, several Stormcloak rebels. But that doesn't matter now. There's a dragon! Hadvar and Rayloff set aside their differences to help the survivors. They went into the lower keep hours ago. Something about caves with a back entrance. I don't think they're coming back. I'll have to wait to see if I can get out of the city and down to Riverwood. Someone needs to warn them. This building won't remain standing for much longer. Still can't believe it. A dragon! Straight out of the legends! Nobody back home will ever believe me. I guess that leaves it up to us to go warn Riverwood, huh? Guess we're going to Riverwood. Uh, where's my horse? There you are. Hello. Delrin deer. Take me away. We must warn the Jarl that there is a dragon. Sir, there is a dragon. Guys, there's dragons. Let me in. Don't run into the guard. Don't run into the guard. Move, kid. There's dragons. The dragons are coming. I feel, like, feel like Paul Revere right now. The dragons are coming. Homeboy Ferengar won't believe this. I saw a dragon. Hello. Whoa, lady. Chill. I have news about the dragon. Well, that explains why the guard let you in. Come on, then. The Jarl will want to speak to you this afternoon. Yeah, he does. All the personal talks. Oh, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Yes. It was big, black, and massive. By this year, Irelep was right. What do you say now, Professor? Oh, we got a level. I mean, it's just a dragon. Immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains, the Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. You Here tell him. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yeah. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duty. So, Balgriff, uh, you tapping that? Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. I did. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your... Or 
particular talents, perhaps. My talents. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Rumors of dragons. Belgriff, like, literally, it's not a rumor. Like, did you not listen to anything I said? Like, there was a dragon. It was a, li a literal dragon. A dragon. All right, your Jarl's dumb. Here. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. The Jarl said you had a project you need help with. Hmm? What? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. Never mind, I'll wait for him. The Jarl can be found in the Great Hall, probably sitting on his Jarl's See, he'll tell you himself since you didn't believe me. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. I'm a sit. Hey. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me, I prefer my books and my spells. I bet you do. So the Earl said you had a project you needed help with. Can you tell me about it now? Ah, uh, indeed. The Earl. Oh yes, you must be referring to my research into the dragon. How convenient. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Oh, I got insider news, Ferengar. It is there. What do you need? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. Nope. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? Exactly. I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Oh, you don't say. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Oh, it's almost like I already have it. You know, if you've got the aptitude. Hey, homeboy. Guess what I got? Guess what I got? Ah, the Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Yeah. Seems you are a cut above the usual brute the Jarl sends my way. Well, I mean. Remember, your mind is the best weapon you have. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Alright, so... So that was a pretty eventful episode I think we have here. Uh, we went ahead, we went and got the Dragonstone for Ferengar. Um, he has it, so now we gotta give him a little bit of time to, you know decipher it and make sure he can figure out where the dragon burial sites are and then we just pretty much on the wait to see when the Jarl calls us to action if he needs us again we are on our way to become the Thane of Whiterun it's gonna be great oh I got a horse I didn't I don't know if I forgot to mention that but we have a horse now anyway thanks everybody for watching this episode like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will be back with another episode of Skyrim in the next day or two